This is Elusive Images, Beyond Course Analysis for Fine Grain Recognition. While progress has been made in fine grain recognition, it seems to be plateauing. New approaches often differentiate themselves by fractions of a percent in terms of prediction accuracy, which is the most common measure of comparison. But accuracy by itself doesn't tell the whole story. Consider a case where two models are trained to predict bird species. The first model achieves 76% accuracy with correct predictions on one subset of the data, and the second achieves 80% accuracy with correct predictions on another subset of the data. In the case shown here, the two models agree perfectly, except for a few errors in model one that are corrected by model two. But it's also possible that the models agree less in their predictions, but still are lar largely overlap. We train n different models on the same FGVC task and look at their predictions for each image, and we observe two things. First, their predictions don't always align, and second, there is a portion of the data that none of the models are able to classify correctly. We call these universally misclassified images the elusive images, and find that they exist in each dataset we considered. In this work, we try to understand these elusive and difficult images in the context of fine-grained recognition. Our paper makes several contributions. We develop a framework identifying and analyzing challenging images using three distinct difficulty metrics that aggregate predictions from multiple models. We provide a standard training procedure and implementation of several state-of-the-art FGVC methods for direct and fair comparison. We create a new evaluation dataset called iCub, which is meant to be used as an additional source of test images for models trained to recognize the 200 bird species in the Cub dataset, with images collected from iNaturalist. We analyze six FGVC datasets with predictions from six different model types using our proposed framework and show that there are specific challenges still to be solved in FGVC. Our first proposed difficulty metric is called prediction overlap. Given predictions from n distinct models, we assign a difficulty to each image based on the number of incorrect predictions. Our second proposed metric we call prediction rank. It measures the average rank of an image in the predicted class distribution. Our final proposed metric is similar class confusion, which is defined as the at the class rather than the image level. For a pair of classes, we form the distribution over marginal probabilities for each image being predicted as one class or the other and measure the KL divergence between the two distributions. A lower divergence indicates that the two classes are easily confused. We use our difficulty metrics to analyze six FGVC datasets, shown here. We create the iCub dataset as an additional large source for evaluation. We do not use iCub for training, but as supplementary evaluation data for models trained on CUB. The iCub dataset contains 200 bird categories that match CUB. The images are collected from iNaturalist and make up a challenging visual distribution. In particular, there are many more images in iCub where the target bird is small relative to the area of the image, making correct identification more challenging. We use the models shown here for obtaining predictions. Each model uses either a ResNet50 or VIT backbone. We chose these models to cover different approaches to FGVC. We train each model five times with different random seeds to obtain 30 different models for each dataset, and thus 30 predictions for each image. We re-implement each model in a standard framework and use a fixed training recipe, including a fixed set of hyperparameters, to try to eliminate confounding factors from our analysis. Backbone models are pre-trained on ImageNet 1K. First, we show the overall accuracy for each of the models we trained. In our standardized framework, performance is lower in many cases than the results reported in each individual paper. Unfortunately, it seems that many of the comparisons in the FGBC literature are subject more to hyperparameter tuning than to the comparative strengths or weaknesses of the different methods. We believe more attention needs to be given to direct and fair comparison and to looking beyond just a single accuracy value. Next, we show prediction overlap results for each dataset. We make a few observations. First, the largest group in every case are the images that are correctly predicted by all models. We could call these the easy images. However, there is a sizable portion of each dataset that is incorrectly predicted by one or more models. Finally, we validate the existence of elusive images in all datasets, consisting of at least 2% of the images and up to 20% in the case of iCub. Next, we show some prediction rank results. By plotting image rank against the class averaged rank, 
we find that there are some images that are quite far from being predicted correctly. The classifier assigns many incorrect classes higher probability than the true class, while most samples in the class have a much lower rank. We also show a KL divergence matrix for each data set. The matrix shows the similar class confusion between each pair of classes, with brighter colors showing lower KL divergence or higher confusion. We also show the confusion matrix, where red indicates mistakes corresponding to a similar class, and blue indicates mistakes in a non-similar class. We've defined similar classes as those where the KL divergence is more than three standard deviations below the mean. Similar class confusion, which is at the crux of FGVC, is still a key challenging factor, but it also doesn't account for all the mistakes. We also show the percentage of class pairs that are similar within each dataset, as well as the full distributions of pairwise KL divergence, which are remarkably similar across datasets. In addition, we analyze several spatial properties of the images, estimated using statistics of the bounding boxes. Here we show object size, aspect ratio, and distance from the center of the image versus prediction overlap. We find little correlation in most cases, except for with the object size and only on certain datasets. The fungi dataset does not contain bounding boxes and is excluded. Finally, we show a few examples of elusive and hard images, where we consider hard images to be those with 10 or less correct predictions. These examples highlight several properties that might cause images to be challenging. Some images might be elusive because they contain irrelevant information, incomplete objects, or object ambiguity. Some other patterns we see are uncommon pose or viewpoint, camouflage, where the subject blends into the background, or distractor objects, which might confuse the classifier. Please note that these correlations are observational only and do not directly expose the true reason for the errors but they can help us in understanding what might need to be addressed in the future. To summarize, in this work, we propose several metrics for analyzing the images in FGVC datasets in order to understand the kinds of challenges that modern methods are facing. We discover the prevalence of elusive and challenging images that are rarely or never correctly classified. We verify that confusion between similar classes is still a key issue in FGVC, and by looking at the most challenging images, we find certain characteristics that might contribute to the difficulty of certain images, such as unique poses, camouflage, and distractor objects. For more details, please see our paper. Thanks for watching.